here's another just wonderful metal bead and what I have here is just a very small very um, put up against my hair a very small crochet hook the kind I guess they make the lace with what I'm going to do is just hook that through can you see how I'm doing that yep and then find uh, <laughs> sorry that's my son he's watching television and just find one grab it by the end and kind of hook you don't have to hook a whole bunch of hair see how I just kind of hook that in and now I'm going to pull it through these loose hairs oh, there we go we got it started see that ah got it got it got it so there you go it's in now to me that's not going to stay see it's going to it's going to, it's going to make its way down very easily down that lock see that and that's why for the heavier pieces especially I try to at least uh, pierce it now some people tie knots around these you can do whatever you like to keep it on as it's not rocket science and then some people even actually sew them on so um, you, there's several ways that you can do that these are the, that's the main way that I do it I either slide it on a big chunky lock where it's almost squeezing the lock and it's not going to go anywhere you want to check and make sure it doesn't go anywhere and you don't have to pierce it or you can pierce it with the traditional locks it's not going to make any difference pierce that bad boy let it stay in there uh, but with the sister locks we have to be a little more careful okay um, or go with the lighter pieces Okay, and I promised you guys um, to show you how I would attach these. So I'm going to come up real close. Now, I'm using one of my tools that I use to, um, to actually make the jewelry. But you can also use a, um, like the instructions that you're going to get when you actually order these. It's going to be a sheet of instructions, photo instructions, so it makes it real easy for you. Um, but I actually use a, a tweezer uh, to open and close. So these are, um, I call them my lock rings. And if you look real closely in my hair when I come up close again, you'll see that I actually have lock rings on some of my locks. And what I do is I use those to anchor or attach my, my, my jewelry pieces to. Now, if there's a nice, good, substantial lock that I have that doesn't have a lock ring on it and I don't have any more lock rings available, then I'll just pierce it through the lock. But I make sure it's a healthy lock that I do that on. But anyway, if you look real close, I don't know if you're not going to be able to look too closely because it'll get fuzzy. But anyway there's a like a um, there's a cut in the wire and I'm either going to pull this back to me or away from me either pull it to me or away from me. I don't want to stretch it um, because then the um, you lose the integrity of the circle there but anyway um, let's see I'm gonna take a pretty decent lock here there's one here and what I'm going to do is pierce it. Now I can slide this on if I want to, but this is a heavier piece. And these metal beads are some of my favorite ones, so I definitely don't want to lose that. And it's a heavier piece. So I'm going to actually just kind of pierce this through or anchor it. Let me pierce it through so I can just show you how I'm doing that. So I'm just taking it and I'm going to pierce it right through a few hairs. And don't try to go through the middle. Just go on the side. Now you see how I have that? Can you? Yeah, see? You can see that? Just a few hairs. And now I'm going to just close it right back up okay and bad boy is on there and it's not going anywhere and I'm not in fear of losing that wonderful piece that's going to just show off in the front there look at that ah! love it love it love it 